February 5th, 2018, Super Bowl 52, a day that Philadelphia Eagles fans will never forget. A game that featured an unlikely hero rising above the noise and circumstance to deliver when it mattered most. A month prior, in week 14 of the 2017 NFL season, the Eagles battled the Los Angeles Rams in a game featuring two of the year's best offenses. Late in the third quarter, star quarterback Carson Wentz dove into the end zone for a touchdown that would end up being called back on a holding penalty. During his dive, Wentz found himself wedged between two Rams defenders, causing him to tear the ACL in his left knee. The injury would derail Carson's all-pro level season. The Eagles were forced to put their 25-year-old franchise quarterback on season-ending injury reserve December 13th. Unfortunately for Carson, this story isn't about him. It's about his backup, Super Bowl 52 MVP Nick Foles. Nick's road to becoming Super Bowl MVP is one of the most unique stories in the history of professional sports. It starts back in 2012. In the 2012 NFL Draft, Philadelphia selected University of Arizona quarterback Nick Foles in the third round to back up then-star quarterback Michael Vick. Foles would make his debut for the franchise in Week 10 of the 2012 season, replacing a then-injured Vick. Though he would complete his first NFL touchdown pass, the Eagles fell to the Dallas Cowboys 38-23. Foles would start in place of Vick until a broken hand landed Foles on injury reserve after a Week 16 loss to their division rival Washington Redskins. 2013 brought massive changes to the Philadelphia Eagles. Coach Andy Reid was shown the door to make room for college football's most innovative coaching candidate, Chip Kelly. Kelly announced the starting quarterback position would be an open competition between the veteran Vic and the up-and-coming Foles. Foles would ultimately lose the battle, with Vic starting the 2013 NFL season. Unfortunately for Vic, it didn't take long for the injury bug to find him once again, and by week four, Foles found himself back in the mix. Though a concussion would keep him out of week eight, Foles would dominate the rest of the 2013 season. Week 9 saw Foles tie an NFL record for most touchdown passes in a single game with seven. Nick finished the season with 27 touchdown passes and only two interceptions, beating Tom Brady's 2010 record for touchdown to interception ratio. Foles finished the year being selected as an alternate to the 2014 Pro Bowl, where he won offensive MVP honors for his performance during the game. The Eagles entered 2014 with the team now centered around quarterback Nick Foles. His breakout 2013 campaign had won over both coaching staff and fans alike. With Chip Kelly's innovative college-style offense, a competent defense, and Foles behind center, expectations were high for the Eagles. Unfortunately, Foles would go on to produce pedestrian numbers before his season ended prematurely after suffering a broken collarbone against the Houston Texans in Week 9. In the following offseason, the Eagles would make one of the most questionable trades in franchise history, sending Foles a second-round draft pick and a fourth-round draft pick to the then St. Louis Rams in exchange for Sam Bradford and a fifth-round pick. Chip Kelly's Eagles had given up on the guy they once said was their future after only one season. Looking back on the Chip Kelly era in Philadelphia, questionable decisions like the Foles trade were common. Kelly purged the roster of fan-favorite franchise players like Deshaun Jackson, LaShawn McCoy, Evan Mathis, Jeremy Macklin, and Trent Cole. Whether it was questionable coaching, frequent injuries, or simply bad luck, Foles found himself on a new team with a new opportunity. Unluckily for Foles, that opportunity did not lead to success. The Rams were late in coach Jeff Fisher's mediocre 7-9 era. Despite trading for Foles only a year prior, the Rams drafted quarterback Jared Goff with the first overall pick in the 2016 draft. A frustrated Foles requested his release and hit the open market for the first time in his career. From setting NFL records just two seasons prior to free agent, Nick Foles found himself at a crossroads in his life. He had lost his love for the game of football. For Nick, football had been his whole life, but loving a game in an industry that chews guys up and spits them out can be difficult. Three teams fielded Foles' offers to be their backup QB, but only one team had a chance of bringing the former Pro Bowler back to the game. Former Eagles coach Andy Reid was now the head coach of the Kansas City Chiefs. Andy was in need of a veteran backup quarterback, and for Foles, it was the perfect opportunity to reunite with the coach that drafted him. Foles served as the Chiefs' backup QB throughout the 2016 season. The Chiefs would decline the second-year option in Foles' contract on March 9, 2017. Four days later, Foles would move on to another reunion, this one slightly more personal. 
On March 13, 2017, the Eagles signed Nick Foles to a two-year contract. The Eagles were in need of a veteran QB to support 2016 first-round pick Carson Wentz. For Foles, the reunion was easy. Having moved on from the disastrous Chip Kelly era, the Eagles hired a familiar face to be their new head coach. Doug Peterson had served as QB's coach from 2009 to 2013 under Andy Reid. When the Eagles moved on from Reid, Peterson followed becoming Kansas City's offensive coordinator. The Eagles hired Doug Peterson to be their new head coach on January 18, 2016. Foles was reunited with his former quarterbacks coach in a system he was familiar with on the team that drafted him. It looked like a satisfying end to Foles' odyssey. After being given up on and cast off in 2015, Foles had found a role that he could be successful in. None of us had any idea just how successful he would be. That brings us back to week 15 of the 2017 NFL season. Foles was once again taking over for an injured star quarterback. Carson Wentz and Doug Peterson had positioned the Eagles atop the NFC with a record of 11-2. Foles was charged with keeping the Eagles' momentum moving forward. They closed out the regular season 13-3 and snuck past the Atlanta Falcons with a 15-10 win in the divisional round of the playoffs. Foles played the game manager role that was assigned to him, leading the Eagles to the NFC Championship game. Nick proved he was ready to pull his own weight against the NFL's best by torching the feisty Minnesota Vikings in the NFC Championship game. The Eagles were finally going back to the Super Bowl. There was just one problem. They were facing the most successful quarterback-coach combo in the history of the NFL. Universally regarded as underdogs against the Patriots, the Eagles persisted that not only did they have a chance against the defending champs, they were going to win. On February 5, 2018, football fans were treated to the greatest shootout in football history. The Patriots and Eagles combined for a Super Bowl record 1,151 yards of offense, and the combined score of 74 points was just one point off a Super Bowl record 75 points scored in 1995. Foles rose to the occasion, passing for 373 yards and three touchdowns, and caught one receiving touchdown on a trick play at the end of the second half, appropriately named the Philly Special. The Philadelphia Eagles defeated the New England Patriots 41-33 to win Philadelphia their first Super Bowl title. Foles was named Super Bowl MVP. Nick Foles went from superstar to free agent in the blink of an eye. Though the football world had seemingly forgotten him, Foles kept grinding and when opportunity knocked, Foles kicked the door open. In July 2016, Foles contemplated hanging up his cleats for good. 18 months later, he is the 2018 Super Bowl MVP. Nick Foles' journey is proof that with hard work and determination, literally anything can happen.